Chen is probably the most cosmopolitan of all the modern Chinese writers in that his education in both traditions was absolutely first rate. I mean, first rate not in just sort of the, the foreigner learning the English tradition or the European tradition. He was as good as a European scholar in those traditions. Not to mention this, this tremendous learning in Chinese, which, which, you know, was... There certainly were people who had that kind of learning, but there's no one who combined that learning with a similar learning of the European tradition that he did, and also his ability to theorize and his intention, I think, quite deliberate to make these two things come together and make sense of a universal literary culture. Uh, Qian Zhongshu is an interesting figure for a number of reasons. One is that uh, he's a master stylist, master prose stylist. He wrote poetry too, uh, but it's mostly his essays and especially his fiction uh, that made his name as a man of letters. And uh, it's characterized by kind of supreme wit, very arch wit. But he also is not a writer who just focuses on kind of current events. He's not as much of a topical writer. He's much more interested in things about human nature.